pause it. Why does this? Then pause it. Why we do this? Because I'll get a copyright strike. But people, look at the camera. Look over there. Look, look, look. This is the only video I've ever made. You can watch with your children. So there. So enjoy. That wasn't a very good shot, was it? It's the only video I've ever made for your children because it was made for the army during COVID, but the army took it down now, so we stuck up my channel. So enjoy this video on magnets with your kiddly winks. And there's no swearing in it. 100% guaranteed, eh? Yeah, I know. It's sad face. There's no swearing in it, but never mind. Army stem. Scene one. Take 12. Should put a lid on, should I really? Where's the magnets gone? Oh. Put on the out of truth. Stop squeaking the chair. Army stem. Car's been passed. Let's go past car. So, ah, oh, no. Recording. Hi, I'm Lance Corp, and I'm an army reservist in the Royal Engineers, and I am in a team called 504 STRE, and we handle civilian infrastructure, specifically electrical infrastructure, on behalf of the army. But today, because of the current situation, I'm here to talk to you about something that's always interested me, and that's these fellas. Scene two, take one. So today, I'm a trumped. Today, I'm gonna take a little bit of time just to introduce you to the wonderful world of something that interested me in engineering and science, and it's these, and the magnets. That. There's something wrong with that. That's alien technology. So, how do magnets work? Hey Siri. How do magnets work? Just a moment. Okay, I found this on the web for how do magnets work. I can look Check on the internet. Out. I can look on the internet. It's really simple. A quick internet search has proved that for me. As you can see from the diagram behind me, one side as a series of hooks and one side as a series of loops and when they mesh together the hooks get stuck in the loops and that is where the strength of the magnet comes from anyhow enough of this foolishness let's talk about science and do some magnet experiments first of all let's talk about power so with something simple like this torch you know it's got batteries in they convert to light and it's off but if i leave it switched on it will become totally useless because the energy will just creep out. Whereas with these rare earth magnets, they can hold their energy for a very, very long time. And these magnets will lose less than 5% of their magnetic power every 100 years, which means when I stick them, to that box, they'll be there longer than me longer than that box longer than any of us but how much strength have they got to start with and that's what we're going to start looking at over here experiment one so in this experiment we're going to do a test into strength and we're going to see how much this little tiny magnet can take using the simple experiment behind me so all i've done is at the top i've suspended a metal bean tin from the ceiling below that suspended on some cotton which passes through one of these magnets attached to the underside of the bean tin is another bean tin. And it's dead simple. All I'm gonna do is apply weight to the lower bean tin until the magnet fails or the string fails. And then we're gonna measure the amount of weight this magnet can take. But first of all, let's see how much this magnet weighs so we can see just how strong it's gonna be. Here's a little point for you, yeah? In this experiment, we're measuring the force that's required to pull that magnet off. And in real life, in real engineering, force is measured in newtons, not in any sort of weight like tons or grams. There is no breaking strain of something in tons or grams. It's always given in newtons. So don't ever quote a weight to an engineer when you're trying to talk about a force because they'll think you're an idiot. But for the purpose of this experiment, just to make it a little bit simpler, we're just going to use weight. So it weighs 1.4 grams. But how much can it hold? Let's find out. There she goes. All right then. 
So I'm not going to win the Nobel Prize for Science, but the experiment's simple. So let's take the magnet off. Total weight. 1.4 grams. Take these scales, tear them, and take the whole assembly, the cotton, the crocodile clips, the batteries, and everything, and place them on these scales. 3.182. I'm not going to run the experiment over and over again, because I'm pretty happy that I proved the fact that this magnet can hold 300 times its weight. Well, that's wrong. Two hundred and twenty-seven times its weight, apparently, maybe, by using absolutely nothing but the force it has in it from magnetism. So we've got this magnet, and it's capable of holding two hundred and twenty-seven times its weight. But what is this miraculous force around it? Can I see it? What can I use this strength for? And is there any way it can be destroyed? Let's have a look at those things and see what else we can find out. Experiment 2. Like all superheroes, everything that's a little bit magic has to have a nemesis. And with all magnets, there's only one nemesis for them. And that nemesis is heat. There it goes. And that... Ouch. Ouch. Ah. Damn it, my hand, my hand. Ouch. Whilst it hasn't lost all of its strength, it's massively diminished. And that is the nemesis of the magnet. The heat adjusts the chemical composition and the way the magnetic north and south poles are in the metal. And it will never be as strong as it was again. This magnet is now pretty much dead. Experiment three. Right then, the last experiment. For me, the most amazing. I still enjoy watching it now. It intrigues me and it's baffling. And it's certainly something if you get some rare earth magnets and a bit of the pipe I'm going to use, you can try at home. So I can get this in a good shot and show you what's going off and try and draw that intrigue out of this experiment. I'm going to take the camera handheld and it's going to be choppy with takes because it's going to take me a couple of goes to get one of these experiments right, but it does work. Bad do. Little bit of life lesson for you. Not everything you do the first time or even the 30th time or even the 400th time goes right things get better with experience that's the same for anything if you want to learn about something and make a good job of it you're going to have to fail loads and put loads of time in that's a life lesson from me if you don't believe me just look how many times my t-shirt changes in these videos and you'll see that i filmed this over about five nights for these 10 minutes but anyhow let's go on with these experiments Right then, let's go. So, what we've got here is my favourite, the bean tin. I've got a stack of five of my rear earth magnets. Above it, I've got a piece of 15mm copper plumber's pipe. And that is attached from the ceiling on string, from up there, to a piece of aluminium bar. So, there's no metal that's magnetic here. Just to prove that these magnets are real and gravity's working, I'll put them near these tins. Picks it up. As you can see, they're the same strong magnets that I've shown in previous videos. Aluminium and copper are non-magnetic. As you can see, the magnets do not stick to the copper and they do not stick to the aluminium. And I assure you, there's no camera trickery involved here. And this is a genuine piece of copper plumbing pipe. It's not been altered in any way. This is a genuine piece of aluminium, as is this piece of aluminium over here. So, let's show you what's interesting about these. So I've placed this magnet on this piece of aluminium. We should be able to watch it slowly crawl down like that. Why is it doing that? It's not magnetic. Why is it being slowed down? Let's show you in a better way. This is the big one. This is the big intrigue. So these magnets, just to prove I haven't changed gravity, I'm gonna drop them onto the tin. You can see how fast they fall in. My hand is now at the top of the copper pipe. Here, look, and I'm gonna drop them down to the tin that's down here. Go, and I missed. Go, and they're already there. So, gravity's real, the magnets are real, the copper pipe is real. Watch this. Why so slowly? Watch again. Why so slowly? I don't know. So, I bet you, the three people that are actually watching this, are sat there or stood there or lying down there on your phone watching this, thinking, 
when's he gonna actually tell us how magnets work well i'm not i'm not here to tell you how magnets work this video is not even really about magnets what this video is about is that you can have an interest in something and you can play around with it and have fun with it and in many ways reinvent the wheel you don't need to just read about it watch videos on youtube of people doing it or be told how to do it you can just get simple to acquire things and have a go for yourself and have some fun doing it i've tried not to teach anything in this video all i've tried to do and all i want to do to people is inspire them to pick up something like a book or the phone and get into something and learn more about it so if at any point you see something around you don't be afraid just to bang a quick note on your phone, look into it or look into it and get on the internet at home. They often say these are the most powerful tools you've ever owned. People say these are the most powerful tools you've ever owned. When simpler, for me, this is probably the most powerful tool I've ever owned because I can access the entire internet from it and find out about pretty much everything. So just be inquisitive. That's all I've got to say. Oh yeah, and do maths at school because it's loads more important when you grow up than you think it's when you're at school. Thanks for watching. That's Velcro, not magnets.